Leo Hui, Leo Hui worked on uh, two problems involving right triangles with in, with inscribed figures inside them. For instance, this one's a square. Let's say it was three and four were the legs of this right triangle. We want to know what is the the leg there. Uh, in modern day, we would do this with similar triangles. And we'd say 4 minus x over x is this, this larger triangle. And the smaller triangle is x over 3 minus x. And we'd cross multiply. Those would cancel out. We'd get 7x equals 12, or x equals 12 over 7. In general, if this is a and this is b, it ends up being AB over A plus B. But they didn't prove it with similar triangles. They proved it a very clever alternate way that I'm going to show you. Look at this pretty picture. Here is our original triangle, where this is A and this is B. And what we have here are some more triangles and squares uh, put in there. And the thing to observe is that this rectangle, AEBC, is composed of two red squares, two of these, actually three of these, um, three of these little triangles, sorry, two little triangles, the two blue ones, and these two large triangles, one here and one here. It's also true that this horizontal rectangle is composed of two red squares, two little triangles, in this case one's blue and one's yellow, and two medium-sized triangles or two large triangles. So this vertical rectangle has the same area as this horizontal rectangle. But the vertical rectangle's area is AB, because it's just a rectangle with base A and height B. Whereas the horizontal rectangle's area is X, because that's the length of the square. And this thing is, um, this is A. And you see how a yellow side of the triangle plus the red is equal to B in this case? So it's B here also. So the width here is A plus B. When you divide both sides by a plus b, you get a b over a plus b. So it's a clever other way of doing that question. Now a similar question is, what if the inscribed figure is a circle? This is like a 5, 12, 13 triangle. Now the modern way of doing this question is to notice that from an external point, two tangents to a circle are equal. So if I call that x, I can call this y and this y and this z and this z. And I get a system of equations. x plus z is 13, y plus z is 12, and x plus y equals 5. Now, the y is going to end up being the, the answer to the the question is, what's the diameter of the circle? But y is going to end up being uh, the radius over here. You can see this y and that y and that y is all, all the, the radius. If you subtract these two equations, you get x minus y equals 1. And then if you add these two equations, you get 2x equals 6 or x equals 3. That's the modern way of doing this question. Uh, the Ohue came up with a formula, d equals 2ab over a plus b plus c, which in this case says that it should be 2 times 5 times 12 over 5 plus 12 plus 13. Uh, 12 plus 13, 25, this becomes 30, and 12 uh, 5 times 2 is 10, times 12 is 120, so it becomes 4, which is not at all the answer that I was trying to get. Let's see what went wrong. Hold on. Ah, I figured it out. Um, I figured out x here, but x wasn't the answer. y was the answer. 
So if I plug that in to this, 3 minus y equals 1, y would equal 2, which would make the diameter equal to 4. Sorry about that. And his formula also tells us that the diameter is 4. I'll show you how he came up with his formula. Look at this nice color picture. So on the left here, we have this triangle whose area is one half AB. Over here, we have two of them, so this rectangle's area is just AB. Now, this rectangle is composed of four of these blue triangles and two red things and four of these yellow things. Whereas the picture on the bottom has eight of the blue triangles and it has four reds and it has eight of these yellow things. So this thing down here has area double, 2AB. It's twice as big as this one. But another way to look at this is that the height of this thing Sorry, the height is this line segment, which is also the length of this, which is the diameter of the circle, because remember, this here, this side of this red square is the radius, so two of those radiuses together makes the diameter, so the height is, is D, diameter of the circle. But the base, the yellow triangle's leg plus the red is A, so that makes this A. And over here, the red and the blue together makes B, and this red and blue make B. And over here, the blue and the yellow make C. So the base is A plus B plus C. And then when you divide both sides by A plus B plus C, you get the formula.